Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Author's vlog. If today's your first day watching me, you are in the right place and at the right time. If you're a returning friend, well, we shall subscribe. Thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the red button that says subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and you will be among the very first people that will be notified whenever I post something new. On Facebook, please follow me. I'm Annie Otter Vlogs. All right, guys. So in today's edition, I am going to be talking about cold. That's common cold and flu, the differences and the similarities. So if you listen to my voice closely, you see that there's a little frostiness, you know, coarseness behind it. Why? Because I've been suffering from common cold for about a week now. Yeah, I haven't been to work. I just went back yesterday. I just want us to brace up because this is the winter season when a lot of people are coming down with common cold. Yeah, this is flu season. And don't forget that COVID-19 is still around. And so we need to brace up and do all it takes to stay healthy during this winter season. Common cold and flu symptoms are very very similar but the flu symptoms are very very severe okay so both are contagious respiratory illness but they are caused by different viruses they are airborne respiratory droplets okay so that means if you stay three feet away from somebody who has it if they cough and sneeze on you you will get it. If they sneeze on a surface and you touch that surface and clean your nose or your mouth or your eye, you will get it from somebody who is sneezing and coughing. Stay away from them. Wear your mask is possible. Okay, so again, COVID is still out there. But how do we differentiate between common cold and flu? That's what I want to talk about and how we can prevent this and take care of ourselves just in case it comes our way. So, common cold and flu are very similar in symptoms, but flu is very, very severe. I'm going to be differentiating between common cold and flu. You know, there are similarities and there are differences. How do you know if you have common cold and when you have flu? So, when it comes to common cold, it's a gradual process. When it comes to flu, it's so sudden, okay? So, both of these infections are very very contagious and there are respiratory illnesses that are caused by different viruses so both are airborne respiratory droplets that means if you're close to somebody who has any of these diseases like three feet away from that person and that person coughs or sneezes you are likely to catch it or if you touch surfaces where that person have sneezed on and touch your face you know, you are likely to catch it as well. So they are very, very contagious. So common cold are mainly caused by rhinoviruses and para-influenza. While flu is caused by influenza viruses. So common cold is gradual and sometimes there are no fever. But flu is sudden. It will just hit you. And there is always fever between 38 to 40 degrees centigrade or 100 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Then with common cold, there is cough, productive cough, okay? And you will feel it in your upper respiratory part. That means your throat and your nostrils. But when it comes to flu, there is dry cough, okay? And flu attacks your lungs, your nose, and your throat, okay? So with common cold, there are no body aches. Maybe very mild if you will have one. But with flu, oh my goodness, you have this generalized body aches. You will feel like you were hit by a trailer or you fell off the roof or story building or tree. That means you will feel generalized body ache, muscle ache, okay? With common cold, there are no chills. But with flu, oh my God, you will be shivering. There will be chills, okay? Severe one. With common cold, sometimes you have mild fatigue or weakness, but with flu, oh my goodness, there's moderate to severe fatigue, weakness, exhaustion, tiredness. You just feel like you want to lay down. You don't want to, there's no strength, no energy to do anything when you have flu. You just want to lay down and be left alone. Then, with common cold,
cold. There is just discomfort because of the cough or feel that pain. But with flu, there is just very mild chest discomfort and it's very, very occasional if you have to cough. Then with common cold, there is stuffy nose, there is runny nose, there is nasal congestion. With flu, is there is no congestion, nasal stuffiness, there is no runny nose with flu. If you have any of those symptoms, it's just going to be very mild and it will go away. With common cold, there is mild headache if you have any. But with flu, there is pounding headache. Then with common cold, there is sore throat. It's very, very common, okay, because it's upper respiratory discomfort. Then flu, sore throat is very, very rare. With common cold, there is sneezing. With flu, you rarely sneeze. How do we treat common cold and flu? Similarity in their treatment as well as differences in their treatment. So you have to go to the doctor to be tested to confirm that you have flu because of the similarities in symptoms. You know, these symptoms are also similar to COVID symptoms. So if you have any of the symptoms that I have mentioned, make sure you go to your doctor or urgent care to rule out to make sure you know what is going on with you so that you don't maltreat yourself or stay home and the thing get worse, okay? So, if you have any of these symptoms, your home remedies, drink plenty of fluid, juice, water, make sure you hydrate yourself very well. Rest, rest your body, okay? Lay down, sit down, just rest your body. This is not the time to exercise or lift weights or run around or double walk rest your body eat healthy fruits vegetables healthy food then take cough syrup and the lozenges so lozenges are things that help you to suit your sore throat cough syrup of, of of course will help you to relieve your cough and your sore throat as well then take pain medications okay and also fever reducer okay so medications like ibuprofen tylenol paracetamol those are very good for the symptoms, okay? Then gargle salt water. That's warm salt water. You gargle it and you speed it out. Do not swallow it, okay? To help you with the sore mouth you have. So take nasal decongestants and do not take it more than one week. Otherwise, they will block your nasals, your nostrils, okay? So this will help you to breathe better. Then to use humidifiers. Okay, so I have like three humidifiers in the house because, yeah, I have to have it. I was so congested, so I have to have it to help uh, moisten the environment as well as I had Vicks that I dropped inside of the humidifier. So that helped me to also breathe better. You can also use chest rub, you know, the mentholatum or the chest rub to rub on your chest and the upper back. This will also help you to breathe better, okay? Make sure... You avoid smoking or secondhand smoking, okay? If anybody smokes in the house and you have cold or flu, the person needs to stop or they smoke outside. And also do not breathe somebody else's smoke. It's going to worsen your respiratory issues. And make sure you wash your hands very, very frequently. Use hand sanitizer when you're not able to wash your hand. And also sanitize your surfaces, surfaces around you in your house. Sanitize them very often. You know, just in case, because people have been sneezing all over. Make sure. And another one, if you have flu, which have to be confirmed by your doctor, urgent care, clinic, hospital. Yes, if you have flu, they will put you an antiviral medication, which is like a Tamiflu. Common cold has no specific medication for treatment. Medications can be given to relieve your symptoms, such as decongestant, cough medication, uh, pain medication, fever reducer. Those can be given, but specifically common cold has no medication. Flu has antiviral medication that the doctor will give you, okay? Again, make sure you finish your prescription as ordered. Then what can we do to prevent flu? Mm -hmm. All of these things are preventable, okay? So what can you do to prevent it? Again, wash your hand very, very frequently. Use hand sanitizer. Wear mask mm -hmm. when going into public places. Yeah. 
Take your shots and your vaccines annually. Flu shot is mandatory for frontline healthcare workers, social workers. Okay, so take your shot annually. If you are over 65 years, take your flu shot. If you are pregnant, mm -hmm. if, you are a, if you have any chronic illnesses such as heart disease, stroke, asthma, diabetes, weaken the immune system by HIV, AIDS, cancer, take your flu shot. Okay, so other group of people who are mandated to take flu shot are people living in long-term care facilities such as assisted living, nursing home. Please make sure you take your flu shot. And people who work in daycare and school environment, take your flu shot. So other people who need to take the flu shot are people who are in correctional facilities such as jail, prison, Yes, please, this is very, very important for them to take it because of the proximity where they live from each other. It's very, very important. So please, these are the much that I need to talk about cold, common cold and flu. Hopefully we have learned the similarities, the differences and how to prevent them and how to take care of ourselves when we have it, family member, our neighbors, your care, or whoever, okay? This is flu season. Take care of yourself. Prevent the worst. This is cold season. Yes, prevent it. Okay, it's preventable and again, it's curable as long as you act quickly and take care of yourself accordingly. Thank you guys. Do not forget to like, share, and comment on my videos. I love you guys. I'm your girl, Annie Otter. Bye guys. Bye.